Hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Another day, another opportunity to grind out some solos. And we've had some great hitting and missing. And what I mean by that is when we fail, we fail big. And when we succeed, oh baby, it feels good. Um, lots of great comments as well. Awesome engagement. Love to see it. I don't always answer, but I always love it. How about Equatorial Magnetizer with United Nations Mars Initiative? Is that too much? Is that too much? Because it feels pretty silly, but also, would we just get infinite TR? We start with Allied Bank, Cartel, and Acquired Company. So this is already like a strong income run. We get a little bit of heat bump kind of madness going on. I don't actually need imported nitrogen. I would love to grab every bit of TR possible, but like, what if we did this instead? Got this money, got this steel. And in the first gen, I want to play both these cards, but I also want the heat bump and I also want to get my TR. Let's forego the first generation TR click. And instead, we focus on getting in that sweet, sweet cash money and a little bit more energy and steel. And then that means Gen 1, 11 income, 1 steel coming in, no TR. I don't feel too bad about that. I really, I do not. I'm feeling good. I'm going to bed happy. Now, let's be super real. Consuming energy for TR is bad. It's not a winning strategy. It's actually quite weak. Things like molehole area and stuff are actually very helpful. We're grabbing way too many cards for how little income we have. Um, but look, man, we gotta, we gotta start somewhere. This is the tricky thing about our run is I can't buy deep well heating and still get the click. So I'm gonna do an early equatorial magnetizer and start turning energy into a single income, which is an awful, awful engine building strategy um but i just think it's funny i just think i just think it's funny this is like almost purely a meme strategy right now the only things we want to focus on are making sure we get more energy cards we keep picking up oceans let's not neglect that we get a tr every round um and with that income i mean where do we put the mole hole? That's my question. We put it kind of center here. Do we get the ocean first? Do we go for lunar beam instead? I think we've got to go for the mole hole. I mean, four heat production is so nice. We go put down here. We don't get this adjacency with an ocean, but I think that we're still in a good way, and that'll lead to us getting additional heat bumps. So I don't need, okay, this is the tricky thing. I don't need to consume um energy for tr but i'm going to okay that is my that's my absolute plan now i don't need to go for decomposer points i can't spare the energy here i'm never gonna have money for jovians but if i get enough science tags i can get a quantum extractor so we will be taking a nature preserve we're gonna continue buying tr and sacrificing energy that means i need more energy <laughs> um good to know good to know um a natural preserve is pretty solid if we can go grab the three card spot with it don't mind if i do uh next up lunar beam is looking mighty fine and isle mining is interesting but this is not the run for it so let's pass and continue just shredding our energy look at all these jovians that are being offered and all these other interesting cards no 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 i don't know how we're going to terraform the planet as far as i'm concerned i'm running a 63 tr uh run and i'm gonna try and beat 63 tr just by just by pumping it uh, this is gen 5 by the way so i should have articulated like we have 10 income and a steal that's not bad especially if you consider the fact that we're plus 10 on the tr right now Though we do have the extra generation right now, we're at Gen 5. And then over here, we have very little plant, very little energy, but a, a decent amount of heat. So I actually think that we're in a good spot. In terms of oceans, we've got three in hand plus the freebie. That's not too bad. 
Like, we're not in a great way. Like, there's a lot of things that can go wrong and not work for us. But I'm I'm feeling good. Like, I'm happy with where this is going. That's a free heat income. Actually, let's go ahead and do a draw one card here. <sighs> do we do business contracts or nuke? I mean, I kind of like the nuke, honestly. As much as I wanted both... I wanted all three of those cards. By grabbing the nuke, we just get so much more tempo. I don't know if we go for the card or just the energy production. But I think we go nuke. That's two heat bumps for that additional heat income. And then we grab the energy with that steel production. And, like, that is... That's notable. That is, like, some terraforming is happening right now. Don't want this. Don't want that. Don't want any of this. I just want to keep uh, shredding energy and getting PR. I don't have... I don't want to go Jovians. I really don't. I need to get science tags to get more energy. That's all I really care about. We got an open city. Don't love that. But that's fine. We have a heat bump every round. So just go over here. I think we get our oceans played and we start standard projecting some greeneries just to make sure that we actually win this game. It's not often that I go for standard projects, but this is certainly a run to do it. I'm not caring for anything that isn't TR basically right now. Don't mind me. Let's do some more card draw. Domed. Dome City is really, really effective in terms of getting points. Even if it uses one of my sacred energy productions, I uh, I really think that's worth it. So, Oxygen is coming. We have 11 bucks left over. No tappables. 37 DR. That is going up fast. An extra energy, even at the cost of the point. An extra TR. Do I have something that's... A building tag I do one point animals I mean fine we'll take all this let's keep pushing up this look again towing a comet do not mind I actually have enough for freaking IO mining which is wild there's only four productions left so eight times four is not enough to pay off this it's like $32 back so let's just stay the course in terms of terraforming and consuming our energy even if we lose a point i'm just trying to maximize tr super heavily right now like all in tr all day i don't know if we'll get more microbes but i'm certainly willing to look for them all right two science tags i really need this four energy income i really need a couple of science tags here boys some more oceans are nice uh, even if it goes with heat, um, discounts on, I can't get this. I already have a bird, though fish is so much easier to play. Heat income, this is basically a heat bump over three productions, but I have no benefit in doing this, really. Except, unless I get that discount, but I'm not going to get the discount. I don't know, I think it's fine. We're going to play some cards, we're going to live our lives. Cards feel like an effective um, use of our time and money. I'm going to buy another greenery. I think it's just greenery for days, right? Ad adaptation technology. That is a science tag. It gets us a lot closer. And by the way, I did buy um, our nitro nitrate producing bacteria on the gen that this would give us two two uh, micro bumps which is a pretty sweet we're not really getting any like plant production cards unfortunately but i mean i guess that's fine science tag please yes yes i don't actually need a trans neptune pro but with all the discounts i'm gonna be good and i don't need space mirrors if i have mass converter because now i have so much science, right? You get this, you get this, you get quantum, you get mass. At this point, you may as well get um, shuttles. No reason in my mind not to get shuttles. No reason to get trans-Neptune either, if we're being fair. Oh. 
Anti-grav. That is just a really effective three points, if you ask me. It, I'd love for it to be more than that, but it's not. But still, terraforming is happening. Plant income would have been great, but Lake Marineris will do plenty for us. Physics complex is cool, but I don't see that it gives us TR, so we're going to live and let die. Callisto penal mines don't need it. Three microbes are set up. A free trans-Neptune probe into an anti-grav into Lake Marineris. Maximize that return, that dollar do. Mining rights, I mean, I don't hate mining rights, but I, I certainly don't love it. It doesn't inspire joy, you know? Let's go ahead and buy our greenery. So greenery here, greenery there. If I could get one more greenery, and I can, I was planning to use this for steel. We never got advanced alloys, so. Oh, I did use it for steel accidentally. Ooh. Oopsie. Because it gives us the heat bump, but I guess that's not as big as just going for herbivores. We only have one production left. I'd rather not get that. We do have 62 TR before the last gen. We need one more ocean and a ton, a ton of oxygen okay one point animals on large convoy is cool at this point we're not going to win right we're not going to terraform the whole planet but we are going to get a ludicrous amount of tr right that's where we're at right now whole baby there's another one and i think that maximizing tr is is just so good we, we love this for us um how do I, how do I do this? I need 13% oxygen to get birds. Yeah, I guess I can't even. Let's maximize money back with some greenery purchases. Like, even at this point, if I did get something like bushes, like, I just, you wouldn't be able to play it, right? So, it doesn't really matter in that sense. Um, and I can't even play Open City. Open City was going to be what I used my steel on. Two more bumps gets us to 11. That's a little bit underwhelming, unfortunately. Let's go for the card draw then and get the plants out of it. I mean, Ironworks is an oxygen bump. So, fine. Four steel, oxygen bump. I mean, the fact that I have no plant income is just so funny to me. Like, how the hell... How did we end up here, you know? How did this come to be? A city there. And I should have played herbivores. Like, I did end up playing enough cards. And now I could get birds, but I can't actually get birds, you know? I think like 76 TR, I mean, we're getting close to like getting the most TR I've ever gotten, I think. I need to get at least $2 back with this green replacement. So, I mean. And then ice cap melting, that's funny. If we could have... Uh place that ocean we would have got more money back than playing it so that would have been nice but 78 tr i actually think this is like tied for real tr we definitely got more than 63 so 15 more uh is nice but we didn't actually terraform the whole planet we got pretty close considering how bad the strategy is of doing equatorial magnetizer and we did even play some cards for the plants you know we did play 
Um, where the hell are you? Large convoy and stuff. But you know what? Like, we also got extremely lucky. Like, Mole area was a really lucky grab. Plantation, Lake Marineris, all these cards are pretty strong. We did end up getting Viral Enhancer, but, like, we really didn't get any... Like, we got offered trees, I think, at one point, and we also got offered, like, lichen, like, either way too early in the game and none late in the game, despite how much heat we had coming in. So, you could obviously optimize this run to do more than what we just did, but hey, 78 TR, <laughs> right? Right? And 78 TR with 11 points on cards and a decent board presence means... It's actually a two out of three, ain't bad. With a like super high score focus on that 78 TR. But, but we didn't actually terraform the whole planet. So, I mean, it all is considered a defeat, but I had a great time doing it. I hope you did too. I don't know, it could have been worth grabbing that space event at the very start for one more TR, a little bit more plants, but when cash is so tight that early, I just don't think you can do it. I hope you enjoyed, I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.